shapes of wavefronts after reflection or refraction let us see the reflection first this is a concave mirror which is converging mirror this is a convex mirror which is diverging mirror suppose a plane wavefront is incident on a concave mirror as well as a convex mirror we know from the plane wavefront the waves fall on the concave mirror and these waves are perpendicular to the incident plane wavefront if you look at the extreme waves the extreme waves travel more distance and you know since it is a converging mirror these waves try to converge towards the focus whereas the wave through the principal axis reflects without any deviation now if we draw the reflected wave front will be somewhat like this whereas in case of convex mirror the waves are incident on the surface and these waves are perpendicular to the plane incident wave front since it is a diverging mirror these waves diverge the wave which is passing through the principal axis will not undergo any deviation and it will be rebounding so what about the shape of the reflected wave front it will be somewhat like this so this is the shape of the reflected wave front look at convex lens and concave lens in this refraction takes place a plane wave front is incident on this we know the waves are perpendicular to the incident wave front the wave which is passing through the principal axis will not undergo any deviation it passes without any deviation whereas the waves other than the one through the principal axis after refraction converges to focus so we get the refracted wave front to be normal to these refracted waves so this will be the shape of the refracted wave front in case of concave lens suppose a plane wave front is incident the waves are perpendicular to the incident wave front and the wave which passes through the principal axis undergo refraction and no deviation happens to it it goes straight along the path of the incident wave whereas those waves which are away from the principal axis undergo refraction and 
diverges so these waves are diverging from the concave lens after refraction therefore the refracted wave front will be convex in nature this will be the refracted wave front as we move away from the optic center of the concave lens towards up or down the waves find more and more path through the lens in case of a prism suppose a plane wave front is incident on it we know the waves are perpendicular to the plane wave front and they travel through the prism and comes out and deviate these waves which are nearer to the center of the prism travels little more distance than the previous one hence it can travel only less distance in the rarer medium the way through the base of the prism travels the maximum distance so by the time the wave through the base reaches the end of the prism the wave at the topmost point of the prism might have undergone refraction and the refracted wave reaches till here perpendicular to these refracted waves if we draw a plane this is the refracted wave front in the prism as we go down the waves find more and more distance through the prism so refracted wave front is a plane wave front which is making an angle with the incident wave front 